Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing yes or no questions. We're using the pendulum, the oracles of yes or no, and then we're going to pull a clarity card that tells you why that's the answer, which I think will be really fun. So you'll want to pause the, vil the video and write down your questions. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that they're yes or no questions. So let me give you an example. Will I eat a cheeseburger? Yes which could be answered by these questions. What kind of cheeseburger will I eat cannot be answered with yes or no. So with a sex question, will I have sex with Mr. A person? Yes. Will the sex be good with Mr. A person? Yes. When I have sex with Mr. A person, what will it be like? Not a yes or no question. Okay, so you kind of have an idea, and you're going to want to use close-ended questions. So those are only going to be questions that can be answered with a yes or no. All right, so readings are timeless, so that means that uh, these questions can be answered at any time. Also, timestamps are in the description box, as well as decks are in the description box. There's also a link to my link tree, so you can find me all over the internet. There's also a link to Etsy for this exact reading. And I wanted to say thank you to my new subscribers and those of you who have gotten Etsy readings. I also wanted to let you know that um, because this is something that I'm doing that's a little bit new, I don't have a shout out person because I'm not sure what the views on this will be and I want to make sure shout out people get to see their cards. So if you would like to have a shout out video or a reading, leave a comment, be the first to leave a comment on a video and I will pull that card for you. Also we have what is in the box. Now what's in the box is really important on my channel because it's about intuition. Like you're not going to know what's in the box unless you use your intuition. Now it's really important to hmm, realize that sometimes I'm going to say things and they may not be for you. So I might say, oh, your husband is cheating. Or, you know, you might get an, a message that says no way. And you're like, no, I know this is a yes. Well, then go by your intuition. Don't trust anyone else. You are your own guru. So all I'm going to do for this is I'm going to uh, pull this and just say question one. And we're going to do five questions. And then we're going to get the answer that the pendulum says. If it lands on the yellow one, we're going to pull the oracles of yes or no. And then once we have that answer, I'm going to give you a why without knowing what the question is. That's uh, I figured that way you guys can all ask your own questions. So let's go ahead and get started. Question number one. What is the answer to question number one for the watcher? What is the answer to the watcher's first question? And if it lands on that or uh, ask a friend, then we will find out. What is the answer to the watcher's first question? Try again. What is the answer to the watcher's first question? I'm going to pull what the or, or, uh, oracle of question no, or <laughs> excuse me, oracles of yes or no. I'm actually redesigning those. That's why I'm calling them a different name. Okay, so since it kept saying try again, I'm going to show you what the card says. So the answer to your first question is yes, it is destined. Keep focused. It has been decided. So then the tarot card that goes with that is showing up as the reverse sun. Now, the reverse sun is about some depression that's a little bit temporary. So the answer to question number one is yes. And the reason that that answer is yes for that situation is that there is some temporary depression or unhappiness that is adding to the situation. Also, some of you may experience a delay in what you're looking for, and that's why the answer is coming as yes. All right, let's work on question number two. What is the answer to question number two for the watcher? What is the answer for question number two? Okay. Okay. 
Well, the pendulum is getting all the limelight right now and doesn't want it. What is the answer for their question number two? This is the oracle card that pulled up. So if it doesn't answer or wants the friend, that's the card that we're doing. Okay. Wow. So apparently we're using the card and we'll pull a, uh, sorry, I was getting a drink, you guys. Um, so the answer to your second question is no, not now. Wait for divine timing. When the time is right, everything will fall into place. And then let's pull a clarity card for that. Fall on the floor. All right, and so it's showing as the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands is often seen as the Twin Flame card. The Four of Wands is also about family and friends and getting together and, and celebrating that love. So for some of you, the answer is showing up as no because of the Four of Wands. This is where you're using your intuition to see how these things fit together. So then we'll go to the third question. And let me know in the comments if you like this format. This is something that is really different. So, you know, I do know that people like having those yes or no questions answered. Well, pendulum, I don't know if the pendulum wants to play today. Let's see. What is the answer to their third question? So yeah, I really feel like it's important to be able to use these yes or no questions and have them answered for yourself and then be able to, okay, so we have yes. So let's see what the, the reasoning before the yes is. So the reasoning be, uh, around the yes is pulling up as the two of pentacles upright, which is about two choices or weighing options. So this yes is because there are multiple options. Okay. I am going to just pull out a yes so that we can keep track of what the answers came up. I didn't look at the other one, so I don't know if it was a yes or no, then I just put it right back. So next time I'll hold it out. Okay. Uh, question number four. What is the answer to question number four? What is the watcher's answer to question number four? Which is full right out. Okay. It says, ask a friend, and it says, no, not possible. It is out of your hands. The universe says this goes against your life's goals and purposes. So then let's pull a tarot card and give you a little bit more information and it's showing up as the three of pentacles so the three of pentacles is about craftsmanship and working together so you have to use your intuition to see how this reads for you are, is this person not working with you? Are you not working with them? You're going to want to get that intuition as to what the reason is, but the answer is showing as no. So then for the fifth question, we're going to ask, and we're going to say, what is the answer to the fifth yes or no question? And they have the card pulled up here. So we'll see what it does. Okay, it says maybe. I'm going to give you the um, the oracle of yes or no that showed up, which was yes, undoubtedly. When you get rid of doubt, your desires will show themselves to you in miraculous ways. And then the tarot card that goes with that is showing up as the Knight of Wands. Okay. So we already got clarity on them, so I'm not going to, unless it zooms in again, I won't be pulling that. So then the Knight of Wands is about a masculine energy that's passionate and creative. So this is showing up as yes because of passion and creativity. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read these for you. I would love to hear what you think. 
Uh, if there's a positive response and you guys like enjoy kind of doing your own reading while you're also getting a reading, you can let me know. And then there is a link to yes or no card cards being able to be pulled in the uh, Etsy shop. And now it's time for what is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And what's in the box is showing as the little flame. All right. Thank you so much for letting me read for you guys. And I look forward to reading for you again.